take you through some of the conversion courses for mechanical or electrical government certificate of competency. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new to this channel, my name is Zalala. Basically what I like to share about on this channel is around engineering, leadership and career development. So if that's a topic that you're interested in, press the subscribe button below and press the notification button if you're wanting to get notifications every time I upload new content. So I do try to bring about a variety and mix up the content a bit to try and ensure that I satisfy everyone's requests. But please do feel free to comment below on what topic you'd like me to unpack even further so we can ensure that everyone stays engaged. So one of the frequently asked questions that have come through are around the conversion courses. So as you know, the GCC or Government Certificate of Competency is for electrical mechanical engineering, right? So you know that you can get it for factories or for mines. So you ultimately will be the responsible person for machinery and individuals keeping them safe and ensuring that we're legally compliant. It is a requirement by law and the appointed individuals have ultimately a high level of accountability and responsibility in ensuring that people are, are safe. When you've got a degree, it's somewhat fixed. So you either get a mechanical engineering degree or electrical engineering degree. So when you write your exam, you apply for mechanical or electrical. However, when you study at a technical institution, you've got your syllabus that is actually a combination of mechanical and electrical. You've got an opportunity to convert. So you can take what are called conversion courses. As you guys may know, when you get your certificate, it actually stipulates. It says your GCC for mechanical or it says your GCC for electrical. So it is important for you to then establish which one you will be gunning for, which one you'll be going for. When you write the examination, the exam is actually the same. On the questions that they've got, three are mandatory in the exam. The remainder are actually elective, so two of them you can choose. If your strong suit is in electrical, so you can choose two electrical questions. And if your strong suit or expertise are in mechanical, you can choose mechanical questions. However, when you're studying, looking to apply, there are conversion courses, so the end, end courses that you can take for you to then convert between mechanical over to electrical. So I'll take you through the different courses. It's actually only two courses. However, these two courses, you're needing to have all the ends for you to then obviously succeed. So you can't just go in and write an N6, but you're needing to pass your N3, N4, N5, and then your N6 with a minimum pass mark of 50%. Conversion courses allow a holder to hold either electrical or mechanical certificate. For mechanical, you would need to do electrotechnics and obtain an N6 in that, and industrial electronics and obtain an N6. So you need to do an N3, 4, 5, and then 6 for you to be able to convert from mechanical to electrical. For electrical, you're needing to obtain your N6 in strength of materials and also in fluid mechanics. So you need to obtain your N3, N4, N5, and 6 for you to then convert from electrical over to mechanical. So as much as it's only two courses or two subjects for each discipline, it is essential that you complete the different ends and for you to get the highest requirement, which is an N6. If you guys didn't know, these are available at your technical colleges. So if you are looking to have a conversion between your electrical and mechanical, start today. So go over to your institution, find out what it is that they've got available for you and be sure that you are comfortable in the direction or the path that you're wanting to take. Ultimately, it's your career, it's what you make of it and you do have options. So you're not fixed or stuck with the one discipline if you're wanting to actually specialize in the other. If you haven't seen the previous video, do check it out. That speaks around the minimum years of experience that you've got with the different trade certificates, also the different trade certificates and whether they require two years minimum experience in the plant environment or four years minimum experience before you can submit your application for acceptance. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shout out.